just about a over a two hour two hour drive later, and we are back at area that's really right, 1320 out here in Pennsylvania. Uh, it's early. I got up early a few days after H2O, so I'm still really tired and worn out. But we're here today to check out uh, progress or actually make progress on the Legacy. Uh, today we're going to, I think Ryan mentioned, uh, mess around with the Stage 4 heads from IG and the Magnum block from IG and make those two uh, sandwich together, basically, and put them together and learn more about them because obviously you guys know I'm uh, pretty car intolerant. So Ryan's going to teach me. Ryan's going to learn learn me about room Room rooms. I gotta wait for the railroad crossing to be done because I don't want to crash my brand new Chrysler Pacifica 2019 Sport Edition. So we're gonna head into the shop in a second, um, wake up a little bit more, and then learn some more about IAG Stage 4 Magnum Block, their heads, getting put together, and maybe some other stuff. We'll see. We got all day. Uh, although SEMA is like under a month away. The car needs to be shipped in under a month. And uh, we have a lot of things to do. Anyway, all right, let's get over there and, and do those things. Also, I'm sorry I can't really like update you guys every single day on the car and vlog every day about the car, the shop that it's working on, the shop that's gonna paint it and the bodywork are both over two hours away from me. Um, and I'm going to them for a reason and it's worth the drive when I do come out. Uh, I just can't come out as often as I like and visit as often as I like. So sorry if these update vlogs on the car are a little bit sparsed out. Once we eventually get the car back as well, um, we'll go over everything. We'll have tons of content on the car. We'll do tons of features and stuff like that on the car. Uh, and obviously I'll come down for any major installs like the Garrett Turbo or some of the new CSF parts or the ACT clutch that we have back there or uh, what's the other box? Oh, the Deutsche Works parts. They got some really new stuff from them, so it's really cool. Um, this train's taking forever, but I'm gonna try to focus on all the big parts. I can't update you guys every day, but I will do my best. I'm tired. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry in advance. We just got into Area 1320 here. Uh, dropped off what we have so far, the new CSF Rad. We're gonna be running their, uh, some of their cooling products this year. Uh, we have the ACT clutch package and we have the Deutsche Works box right here with a bunch of new fueling products. Inside what you guys hear over there, you can't see it, you're not allowed to see it yet, but inside is another uh, SEMA car that they have running uh, this year for Pro Sport Gages, I think they have it for, um, where Area 1320 built it and Josh Crow, the guy who Crow's Customs, who's also painting my car, uh, painted that car as well. And that's why you can't see it, because the color is a secret as of right now. So we can't go in there, but you can still kind of hear it idling. They're working out some kinks and figuring out the uh, last bits of that car before it gets wrapped up. So Area 1320 and Crow's Customs both are doing two SEMA cars. Mine and the one that's currently running in there right now, you guys can't, you can't see it, but it sounds good. Sorry I can't show you. So what I've been trying to do every time I come back here at Area 1320 is not only check out the car, do some updates um, for you guys to see what's up, but also try to film some stuff for the eventual overall video that we're going to make uh, that kind of culminates in the build of the car. So I'm gonna put the side handle here on the red real quick so that way in between shots of uh, us vlogging and talking to you guys about what we're doing to the car, Ryan telling us what he's doing to the car and whatnot, uh, I can get some beauty shots um, to throw in these little vlogs so they're not all just my shaky handheld stuff. And then also once the car is done, I can make a really cool culmination video of like gorgeous beauty shots uh, of all red footage. It'll mostly be like handheld, slow-mo, some 48 frames, 60 frame shots, but it'll just look really, really good because shot the red. So like I mentioned before, what Ryan's doing right now is he's opening up the boxes from IAG. You guys remember when we went down and we saw IAG's facility? Uh, well, we're gonna revisit them at some point, some, some point in the future and go back down there and really show you guys all the intricacies that go into all their cool machining and whatnot. Uh, but today we're going to do what exactly, Ryan? We are going to put the heads on the block. Oh, so we're gonna, we're gonna block the heads or we're gonna head block, the block? block. <laughs> I don't know which head one. Head the blocks. Ah, head the blocks, that's what we're gonna do. So Ryan's opening up, well, I mean, he's trying to open up. Um, IG severely packs their product, mm -hmm. which is good. It shows they care. Oh yeah. Oh, the phone machine that I like most about IG. Yes, that you were unimpressed with. <laughs> Wasn't what I wanted. Ooh, those heads got, they're getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, they are it's small. crazy. Man, look how small it is. Well, it is a Mini Cooper. It's not really a legacy, <laughs> so that's cool. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah, well, they packaged that. Look at their little seat. This little seat. Yeah. Okay. Is this notice, don't let Chris and or Cody work on anything to do with the SEMA build? Absolutely. Uh, probably smart. So these are the IED Stage 4 heads. GSE valve train. 
50 cams. These are also CNC ported. I will show you in a heartbeat. Brian's gonna be helpful here in filling us in and filling me on, filling me in um, on what we're actually looking at, what we're doing, and uh, why these parts from IG are so important uh, in, to this to this build that we're doing. GSC one mil over valves, helps with airflow. CNC ported. The guides have been changed out to uh, GSC bronze guides as well as GSC cams. And good thing is when you buy these as a stage four package. Uh, bench lash is already set. You really don't have to do anything other than a uh, final check when it's clamped down to the block. They're ready to go. They're already resurfaced. They're cleaned. I don't have to do anything on my end. I was going to say, that they're saves done. you a lot of time, right? Yeah. And I know we're in somewhat of a crunch already as it is to get the card up for SEMA. So this is coming in super, super clutch uh, from, from IAG. I'll take care of this one. Thank you. You're welcome. You want me to take care of this too? Yeah, go ahead and throw right. it on. <laughs> so we got the two heads out of the bags here. And then these puppies are going to go on that box and we're just gonna put the box in the in the bay dog you see. And this this is the big boy. This is IAG's Magnum block here that Ryan's taking out right now. Uh, this is where our heads, our stage four heads, are going to mount to, and then this is going to go inside the heart of the legacy. It's going to be shown off everywhere. Ah, so excited! Does the plastic stay on, Ryan? Yes. Okay. You have a lot of trust in this table. I do. Uh, one more. Another don't let me anywhere near it. It's probably a good idea. Install date. Oh wow. Don't you need to ask for consent before you do that? You can't. Hold on. Can't be doing that. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And SEMA! <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, we have the stage four uh stage four heads and the magnum block. Why'd we go with, with the magnum block? It's a big it's one big boy. Why did we go with why did we go with that? Uh it uses their new fire lock technology for the head gaskets. Uh huh. Which actually uses a stainless ring that presses in this receiver group. Mm-hmm. Holds the combustion gases a lot better than just regular clamping on a traditional multi-layer steel gasket. Um, this is new, new technology for them. I like new. Figure, why not? It'll yeah. hold the power we're going to do, or hopefully it does. It'll hold. It'll hold all our powers. I think I'm a baker. <laughs> no, this isn't our normal engine building area. There's a there's something over there that you guys can't see. I told you before. That's that's why we can't use over there. It's a very nice product. You'll see it soon. You'll see it soon, but you just can't see it right now. So we're making do with this little area over here, which actually gives us good lighting. So I'm, I'm not mad at all. What is this that you just took out of that package all slow and majestic like? IAG's Firelock head gasket. Oh, and the purpose and point of that is? These little guys set in the deck of the block. Uh-huh. And they actually stick up past the surface of the head gasket and press themselves into the head to seal the combustion chamber. Whereas the gasket's point is only to seal out oil and water. There's the fire ring fire, what'd you say? What are fire those? lock. Fire lock. Yep. Very cool. And uh, this is like one of, or the most hated part from all Subaru owners, this little head gasket right here. <laughs> but with our IAG one, it's not as much as an issue as yeah, people don't realize this stock because the engines are flat in these and they sit on their sides. If you sat in your own swap, you would leak at some point too. So they're gonna leak. You're doing a great job with the twirly, um, with the twirly action. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. And these are all uh, ARP. I think we went over this, but these are all ARP head studs. ARP head studs uh, directly through IEG. They are 14 millimeter. Wow. Wow. So 
So we've recently got a few packages of uh, some new sponsors that are on for the build. Uh, for the legacy this year, we have CSF Radiators, who's got has our half rat in here. Uh, we'll open that up later for you guys. We want to see some things uh, that Dietchworks sent to us, uh, as well as ACT. Uh, we have a clutch from them. Uh, Dietchworks actually sent us some really cool brand new products that almost, I think we were one of the first people to have uh, one of these products in the car. So we're going to pop it open real quick and just show you guys uh, what's to come and what's going to be going into the Legacy. When you guys see the Legacy all said and done and in the feature, you're not going to see as many as parts that are going into the build that uh, that we actually have. You're going to see the overall printed product, but there's going to be a lot of hidden parts that you know are, are vital to the car even operating um, from all these companies that are amazing enough to help us and sponsor us out on this build. And Ryan, I already... I already see some some goodies in there. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Sick glasses. Wow. Bitch, it oh. smells better than your air freshener. Yeah, I doubt it. Come on. Ooh. Actually, no, let's say yes because they're sponsoring. Yeah, it smells so good. It actually, does smell really good. God damn it. Mm hmm. Dude, Hat. I like look that. at that. Yeah, that's sick. Fancy. <clears throat> Fancy living. A shirt. Oh, wow. Thanks, guys. We got two shirts. You know what that means, Ryan. <laughs> Ooh, some, some thongs. Ooh. Oh, that is, is that a fancy? What? That is oh. Neat. Oh, okay. Look at that. Okay, official. Um, and then in the rest of the box, we have all the actual goodies that are going to be going into the legacy. Uh, I don't really think we could put this in the legacy. Uh, Ryan, what is what are some things that you're looking at right now? I have no idea. I forget what we got. <laughs> I was gonna say they're still in the box. He doesn't even know. <laughs> Fuel pump. Oh, I'm sorry. Filter. Filter. Got we a filter got, from them. I think we got two filters from them. We did. I do remember that. Injectors. We got some injectors. Oh, sorry. You know what? I'm good. I'm getting good at this. I'm not showing you how many or what size. <laughs> <coughs> they don't need to know that. This is the. Uh, it's the new guy. This is the new guy that we were super excited to get our beaters on. Oof. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Some big fat stinking <laughs> pumps. Look at the size of these things. Yeah, that's pretty big. These are 400 LPH pumps, as you see, three of them. Lots of fuel. All the fuel. Lots, lots of fuel. There will be no fuel problems to be had with the Legacy, that's for sure. All right, this is cool. <laughs> if Ryan's geeking out, then we definitely this all should cool. be geeking out. This yeah. is their new three pump surge tank. We originally were going to do a two pumper, and they reached out to us and said, why don't you do the three? We got a three going. <laughs> So this wow, five and a half huge. Holy hell. Surge. Originally, Ryan, what, what did you originally ask for? Or what, what did you originally recommend me to ask them for? 3.5 with two pumps. And the first email they came back with us was like, yes, but no. What if you ran this? Because this brand new, they were telling us we're going to be one of the first people to run this on, on any car, specifically at SEMA. So we might be one of the only cars to be running this at SEMA. So huge, huge shout out to Dietworks. This is, that's massive. That's huge. Holy hell. Ryan, yeah. benefit of it being larger and, and not allowing us to use more pumps? <laughs> all the fuel all the time. Jeez. That could be on a shirt. Should we sell that to them? We could. Ooh. We should do that. Copy uh, TM uh, us. Sorry. Teach you guys to get this from us later. Where's that going to go? I have no idea where I'm going to put it. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out Dietchworks. Thank you guys so much. If you guys need fueling needs, injectors, fuel pumps, uh, surge tanks, anything like that along those lines, their link will be down there in the video description. Make sure you guys go ahead and check them out. Show them some love on their website and on their Instagram for showing us some love. Uh, and helping the Legacy build come to life. So we also are going a six speed swap and about 600 horsepower on the Legacy. So our stop uh, clutch, oh no. Peanuts. Oh no, it would suck if someone just put these all over your shop. We are gonna need a clutch to be able to handle that much power. Oh, oh. You know, oh, you know what I'm gonna do with that pen? Oh wow, what are you I'm gonna do? write ACT how much I hate peanuts. <laughs> so they also came through and hooked us up with See, a clutch. Oh. Everybody's telling you something. I, yeah. They hooked us up with one of their clutches, which is somewhere under all of this foam. Oh, yeah. We should open it up upside down. Then the peanuts would have been... Oh, boy. Oh, no. This is the flywheel. Cool. That's the wheel that allows us to fly. Mm-hmm. Fresh. And let me just get some of this out of the way for you. Just, just right there. You guys notice how I'm making uh, Ryan do all the heavy lifting like I make Cody normally do? And I just hold the camera. I planned this out ahead of time, by the way. There's a clutch in there. So ACT, we were going back and forth and trying to figure out which clutch exactly we want to run for the power that the car's gonna be putting down. And our car's gonna be just on the edge or the cusp of 600 horsepower. And their clutches, some of them kind of max out just on that range. And this six buck clutch they have is going to be safe for us throughout that 600 and then some. Um, so we went ahead and went with their six buck. Six, six pucks, bro. 
we went with one of those. Um, six buck clutches from them, sprung clutches from them, uh, to make sure that we can 110% throw all the power at it that we want to, uh, and it's gonna withhold it. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit more aggressive to get used to uh, than what we've had in Legacy in the past, but it'll be worth it, and it, most importantly, it'll be safe and it'll run um, all the power that we're gonna be throwing at it. Do you feel confident in that, Brian? Absolutely. The same clutch I used to run on mine, which when we did 625 to the wheel at that. Oh, we're chilling. On the same clutch, so we're good. We're chilling. Which awesome. clutches hold torque, not horsepower. I don't, so. I don't know things, Ryan knows things. So big shout out to ACT, big shout out to Dietzworks, big shout out to CSF. There's a rat in here, we'll get to that in another video at one point. Um, and also, I got a whole new wardrobe now. Um, thanks.